Welcome to Sunfire Designs. Today I am going to be doing a mixed method pour, which I have done before, but just in case you aren't aware of what it is, it's a combination of a few different pours, including the Majesty by Crafting Kindness, the Dragon Flower um, by ResinCourses.com, and also the Layered Flower, which is I created. Um, it, it also kind of loosely looks like the fusion, the flower fusion, which is also by Resin Courses. So it has a, some similar um, characteristics. So um, I'm using my mold. This is the mold that I made. It's a new version of the one I've been using that's on that's been in the green. This one is supposed to be, fingers crossed, I hope that I made it level so I don't have to prop it up underneath something on the side. So this is the first time I'm using it, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it does awesome things. All right, so I mixed up 200 mils of Art Pro Resin. This takes about 180 mils, so whatever I don't use, I will use for something else. I have my um, clear push right here, so this will be a clear push. This is um, Liquitex Dioxazine Purple. Then I have Liquitex Prussian Blue, which is actually a little darker than I probably should have made it. Um, then I have Liquitex um, Thalo Green. It's the yellow shade. So that probably is going to get lost because it's kind of light compared to the other two. Um, this is my Let's Resin Ocean White. And then finally, for my mica powder, this is Estoyo, and it is um, silver black. So we'll see what that does. We'll see what this combination does. I have no idea. I also have some stones for the center. They are purple, green, black, and silver, and mirror. So there's a few different colors in there. Don't know, my colors may end up totally being lost in this, but hopefully we don't get mud, right? That's my biggest biggest thing. You know that I don't like mud. All right, I'm gonna put my white into a piping bag because I'm gonna use a piping bag. Um, it could be done with a cup, but I don't like to do it with a cup only because they're, um, my cups are small and the resin fills them up closer to the top so I don't feel like I have good control over what I'm trying to do when I use them. So it's just easier to put it in a piping bag. Leave my trash over here. All right, so set that aside. Um, okay, I'm gonna start off putting my green along the outside. Now there's gonna be no way for me to keep the green and the purple from touching. So hopefully they play nice. Okay, so I'm gonna put this around the outside edge of the mold. Good thing about this mold is because it is the kind of translucent white, I guess you'd call it, it um, is easier to see what's going on versus the green one that I had made the other mold of from. And the good thing is also that now I'll have two molds that I can use, assuming this one works out okay. I'll have two molds um, where I can use them to, to make things that'll be more pours in a day that I can do. I usually try to do a couple a day. It just depends. Depends on my schedule. All right, so now I'm gonna put the blue in the center. And hopefully this will, I hope this works. I like blue and green together. You know me, my favorite colors are blue, green, and purple. That combination and magenta, you add magenta in there and you've got my, my favorites all right, so this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the purple and pour it right at the border of the blue and the green, but I'm actually gonna try to pour it more on top of the blue, only because I'm trying to not um, mess with the green because you know green and purple 
are not friends. So maybe this will work if I do it this way. Don't know. Time will tell, right? I'm always afraid to use colors that I think are going to like turn ugly together. But then I know that I see other people doing it and theirs come out just fine. So maybe I just shouldn't be quite a chick such a chicken. But, <laughs> but I'm always worried that I'm going to, you know, get something ugly or I'm going to waste resin on something, you know. But anyway, all right. I am now this. I'm going to pour a couple different areas. I'm going to pour one line right here where the purple meets the green. And then I'm going to pour one more where the blue meets the purple and it's really hard to see where it is. I think I'm about the right place, but I don't know. I'm going to go around the outside one more time. There we go. I think that's good. All right, so now I am going to torch it. And then I'm going to take my white in my piping bag and I'm going to make zigzags. Now I just did this same pour, but with different colors in the large crystal edge mold that I have from Reasonable Creations. So I will be curious to see how this acts in a deeper mold. So that was kind of why I wanted to do it. And I just decided to try to be brave with colors. I don't know. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to be happy with the results, but nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Okay. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to do some zigzags. I'm not great at doing zigzags in different directions. <laughs> So the zigzags are kind of close to the dragon flower. The dragon flower uses U's and V's. I'd say these are kind of, or U's and W's. These are kind of more like V's. And then the majesty uses um, loop-de-loops. So they're a little different, I guess, but kind of the same idea. All right, now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do it again. I'm trying to make them into V's or points, triangles, but I know some of them are ending up being a little more rounded at the top. It's kind of hard to do. I'm not that good at it. I can see a little bit of the purple right outside the blue and kind of happening on the edges of the green on the outside, which is crazy, like right there. But so far, knock on wood, no mud. All right, I'm gonna put a little time lapse on. It may or may not get included with the video because I just need it to move inward and then I'll be back in a minute. Okay, wow, that closed up really fast, probably because the diameter is not as big as the other one I've done. So now, just gotta wind this up a little bit. Don't have a lot left, but I'm gonna do another row of zigzags around the outside. I'm gonna come over here and do a couple bigger ones over here. There we go. All right, now I used all that white, so I'm gonna pour in my clear and then I'll put my stones in and then we will have a little time lapse while we wait and see if it closes. All right, I'm just gonna kind of pour it in gently 
and see hopefully this mold will be level-ish. It's looking good. I think that's good. I probably could put, do, put a little more in, but I'll set this aside. There's not that much left in there, really. Used almost all of it. And I think this actually might hold more than I think it does. <laughs> Especially when it's level. I don't really have a side that's like totally off like I had been having. All right, so now I'm going to pour the stones in the center. And I don't want them to be too... Um, I don't want that to be too big, so I'm just going to kind of plop it in there, make sure that I've got it all the way to the bottom. I'm going to torch it, and then I'll put a time lapse on, but I don't really think it's going to take long for this to close up because it is um, not as wide. You know, the diameter isn't as big. So anyway, all right, I will do that. And I will see you when it's time to unmold. Okay, it's time to see how this comes out. First time in this mold, it feels great. It didn't overflow or anything. It's still a little, a little soft, but not anything bad. All right, let's see how this goes. Came out beautifully. All right, ready? Oh, that came out cool. Look at the purple is in the middle and it didn't turn anything to mud. And then a lighter green and around the outside, it's got purple mixed in and it has like these striations. I think that's my favorite part is that part around the outside edge. So cool, so cool. I love it. Let me know what you think. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye.